this hall may be a little dark, but when you come into this mill, uh, yeah, this mill, this hotel, here's what you see. It's a museum. And this is the, uh, this is a stone. Uh, that's the hopper. Fed the grain in. Notice that they've got plexiglass so you can see, uh, see how everything worked, the positioner. I'm not so sure what it's standing on, if that's original or not. Uh, here's a second mill, a uh, second stone with a hopper. They're not in the right position. Uh, you're going to just have to pause if you want to see stuff a little closer. Uh, everything is so, so well made here. Look at this. There's even a detail. There's a barn swallow nest or a bird's nest on there. Uh, now, as you go on down, this, this, this part is the original mill. That was added on. <clears throat> Look up there, that chandelier is a uh, one of the uh, wheels. <laughs> Chaussee is missing his wheel from his, uh, his mill, but it's smaller. Here's a collection. I know it's so dark. The light will come on in a minute. But here's a collection of stones used for grinding in other times. And down below, I, I hope this light will go on. Maybe not. I'll get them to, to put it on. Down below there, there's a mill, or there's a wheel that actually runs. Now the light is activated by motion here. So you may not, there, it just came on. I may have to keep moving around. This, this shaft, you can tell that this is not that old. I mean, these are Babbitt bearings, and bronze maybe. <clears throat> and here's a collection of, there's more bearings. A collection of parts of the mill, some probably from this mill, others uh, from other mills, uh, maybe. I'm not sure about this water supply, what, what's going on with that, if that, that was a spring that they used for drinking, I'm not sure. There's a, a, a wagon wheel used uh, with plexiglass on top as a table. This was made in view, a uh, huge drill press, oh, I've got to move, if I wave my hand, the light up there. Um, huge drill press, you know, probably, certainly must have been in the mill. Uh, they wouldn't have, I can't imagine they would have brought that in here. Uh, here's a table that is, in fact, a, a wheel off a, a cart. Just not sure what that is. Uh, here's a, a, you know, another a water wheel uh, made into a table. This is an interesting machine. This is a little bit like the machine I have. It's, got, it's a jointer, probably had a saw right there, probably. On the end, maybe a horizontal boring machine. It's a multiple use machine. Now it's cast iron, or it's cast. So I'm just not so sure it's as old. I'm not so sure the age on that. I looked and that one was made in Vigo. And I think Vigo was an industrial. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go move my arm. This was a mistake they made. It's kind of cool there. It's kind of cool that they did it. But of course that's a counterbalance loom. Some, some of these are, are artifacts uh, that don't necessarily have to do with the mill. Notice the way these doors are here. Let me close this one. Uh, but those are, I guess, just to let, like a screen door in a way. Uh, beyond that wall is new construction, but this is old construction. Uh, here's a door out into the mill area, which I've shown you already. Here, here is a this seems to be the architect's plan for the restoration of this mill. There's the paperwork for the project itself. Uh, <clears throat> and here's picks. I'm just not so sure if the light for sharpening a millstone. There are various artifacts that are appropriate. I mean, it's, this has been made into a, a, a small uh, museum, which is recognized as a museum. Uh, notice the floor, the paving. I don't don't have my doubts that that's original <clears throat> and the beams and when they when, <laughs> almost certainly the original post uh, I, I imagine because I think if you were doing a new one you would use a bigger post no braces on that but the massive weight probably keeps it right in the right spot and has for a hundred years or more this mill is not as old as Chaussee's mill 
probably. Okay, what have I forgotten? I'd like you to see that wheel down there, but there, there won't be water going on. Sometimes that light comes on, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm not sure how to activate that. Here's the uh, control, that's a valve that makes it go. Oh, there's probably much more to show you, but but at least that's a start. I hope I hope you, there was, there's a harrow, a spike tooth harrow up there as a as a uh, chandelier. Let me go down here one more time. Everything beautifully made. That's the way they close the windows and doors at night. <coughs> if they if they want to make them, that's a yoke, I guess, an oxen's yoke. <laughs> A chandelier made up out of brushes. Oh, what is that? That's a that's for winding a. I think that's for winding a skein, yarn, a skein of yarn, a little little loom. This is just a nice collection. I think that's a little spinning wheel. Very very nicely done. Yeah. All right. I'm probably missing something. It's such a nuisance that that keeps going on. And the woodwork. Okay, there's notches that they did not use, so so they, they must have put new. They must have introduced some new wood when they restored this. All right, I guess I'll have to just give up for now. But this is a very maybe I'll just make one time around so you can get a feel for what this museum slash. Oh, I know what I've got to do yet. Here, I'll make this another video. Uh, on this stand, there's a book that shows parts of a mill. Okay, I'll just flip the pages. You can pause it if you, if you want to see more. And I'll have to stop before long to uh, get the light to go back on, I'm sure. Yeah. There. I wave my hand and the light comes back on. Trusse tells me that this is available online. And he can send me this this stuff. He even knows the book that it came from. But it's kind of nice the way they've set it up. Everything about this mill has been done so perfectly, so artistically. Wait, my arm. Come on. Oh, there it goes. I even have to wave my arm in just the right place to get the light to come back on. That, that crane, parts of that are still in Trusse's mill, the one that they had there. But the stone has been taken and the wheel has been taken. He was pretty disgusted. There's an Espingada. They, they call it something. They call it a bake oven. There's a bake oven in his mill. Hello. Hello. You have this. Uh, uh, I I go driving the. I go driving uh, the way. M moment. <laughs> that was because uh, the the sort of uh, mm, ferry or not ferry. Well, the car that takes people back onto the uh, the way of. Uh, uh, the way of Saint Saint, uh, I can't talk two things at once. I'll walk, and that way the light will stay on. Uh, uh, Santiago, the way of Saint Saint James. Uh, they they ferry people back to the way so that they can keep walking. This is about three miles or so uh, off the off the way. So they'll pick people up and bring them here. Okay, I'll film more uh, after a bit. <clears throat> okay, there's the wheel. Uh, and uh, here's the lovely uh, girl that's shown me uh, how to light it up, and she says that I can uh, go down there and go inside that. And so I'm going to climb up here and go down in there. I better. Okay, I've come down. I've climbed down by this ladder, and uh, <clears throat> I'm in the wheel pit. There's the outlet, and here's the wheel. This, these are cast. That's ca these are cast pieces that have been bolted together. I'm gonna have to talk to Andy about how we're gonna make that. And there's there's water 
that comes in. Now that would just be a, a little bit of water to drive it. I'm, I'm sure there was something else where they drove it. Well, yeah, they drove it with a lot of water, I'm sure. But notice that that turns. It's turning free now. Wow. Everything is so well done here. And, uh, okay, I'm going to climb back out. <clears throat> That's where I just was. And now that she's made the light permanent, uh, I, I'll film a little bit more from this angle. <laughs> Since I'm quite allowed to come up here and walk around, why not? That would be the way to take power off if you wanted to use it for something besides grinding grain. And of course they did. Maybe, maybe that's in the original position. And there was the belt. That might have been the belt that came over to here, possibly, to turn all this. <laughs> I don't really have the time to study it in great detail. But I certainly wanted to film everything. So well made. Everything. Okay. I guess I'll just have to give up. No, notice that the windows are inside a shutter. I mean, I don't know how to explain that. They both open. Okay, there's the way that the door is sort of crudely done in a way. Now this is new part. This is new construction. And I can show how the windows operate here independently. There's the window. And then here's the, the shutter, the blind. And when it's closed, then that goes there. Okay. Probably. Well, as I say, this is this is new construction, but it's just so tastefully done, and and you wouldn't even know that that's new. That looks exactly like the other. Mosquito nut suggests to me that. Okay. Okay, here's still a little bit more. This bar, I, I don't understand what this is. I, I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Uh, <laughs> the wood has been split and stones have been stuck in there to, to make it sharp, almost like a big grating pan. And it's sloped here, this is metal. Uh, I'm sure that has a function, I just don't know what that is. <clears throat> the ironwork, largely this is for Andy to see, uh, all done by hand, of course. There must be a pretty good blacksmith around here who is quite actively working. I hope he can, can understand what I'm showing him. I wish I had a little bit better light, but she has made the light, so it's not just temporary. That is cast. I don't have time to read this right now. I think I'll go up close so I can read it later. <laughs> I had said I'm actually trying to avoid Spanish. This lovely uh, young woman that's helping me out, she speaks uh, Gallego, and I speak to her Portuguese, and we understand each other just fine. But uh, there was this write-up, I suppose, that this was when this mill was first uh, set back up. That's one, and maybe this maybe is a second page to that. So let me go in the order that I would read it. I'll be very disappointed if this doesn't come out to the clear enough that I can read it. I'd like to know all this information now, but I just don't really have the time to, and as I said before, 
last thing I need at the moment is still another language in my head. The girl just asked me where I was, what I was going to do with this film, and I said I was going to put it on YouTube. And she said, "Will you show? Will you show me? Uh, give me the uh, the website." And so I'll do that. I'd like to do some advertising for them. Look at this. The, I wonder if you can see that that post is sitting on the bedrock. There's no, and it's not even all that big around. But they, I'm sure they knew what they were doing. I see, this is part of the new. Well, uh, I wonder what they did for a chandelier here. Their chandeliers are so curious. I uh, don't know what they, that's just natural wood, I guess. But they found another one to match. Oh, I should have the light on here. Oh, well. This this is new. This is the new part of the, of the mill. This is their dining room. <clears throat> another chandelier made out of uh, a uh, water wheel. Water wheels here seem to universally lie horizontally, like a tub mill. And I've become kind of a believer in that. This is new work that this was added on. This hotel or hostel is a little expensive, but I believe it's worth it if you have the money. We only stayed here one night because really it's just too expensive for our budget. But everything is so beautifully done. So perfectly done. There's the, there's the iron. This style is, is not so much what I love, but, but I'm filming it to, to continue to give you an impression of how beautifully done everything is here. So tastefully done. And, well, I should just let the video speak for itself. I hope this is good advertising for this place because it really is lovely. There's reception. And there are upstairs rooms, apparently. This is new. I'm in new construction. Now. Everywhere I look, I see more to film. I, I really should stop. I'm glad that that girl, Celeste uh, is her name, uh, helped me out. She, she wants to... I got her uh, 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 email address and I told her I'd, I'd let her know when I have this on my channel. That's kind of strange <clears throat> what they did. I understand what they did. You, usually though, if you have a brace coming like that, you would have another brace going back up to balance it. But it's to sustain, be sure to sustain the weight of that uh, chandelier. Now that Celeste has put the full light on down here instead of that temporary one, I'll, I'll go one more time around this lovely museum slash hotel. The 
the original owners of it still own it. They live in a house right by here, the family Pena, P-E-N-A.